Hi, so I recently published a blog post about creating a LinkedIn Excel table from your Power BI report and how to change the headings and the order. Um, but it, it's always, I find for me personally, some things I like to read, some things I like to watch. So for those people that prefer to see how to do it, um, I've put together this clip to show you how to create a LinkedIn, a linked table with the specific headers and order. So what my clients have done is they've produced a table which they've published to Power BI and the requirement is for them to be able to change the filters uh, so that they can then send this Excel sheet out which is based on a Power BI report which can be refreshed um, as and when required. So this is a table, it's published to a Power BI um, a Power BI report which is published to the service then you click on export data and you click on summarize data which then exports a linked table to your um, to your machine so when you open that um, spreadsheet it will open in your Excel document which is over here and you can see it, it has to be within the same tenant uh, for your security setting. So I've enabled content and I've enabled uh, connection, enabled content. Now, what happens is when you produce it, it pulls in the table name, which is OK. But actually for this client's requirements, they want to give the columns specific names. So what we can do is we can alter the DAX query that is generated for this and amend it. So if you click on data and you click on queries and connections, which is here, you'll see this is the property pane that comes up. So if I right click and click on properties and then click in definition, you'll see this is a DAX query. So what I can do is I can click Control A, Control C, and then either in Tableau Editor or DAX Studio, and I'll show you both, you can then change the DAX query. So this is my, um, my DAX. Ooh. So here is DAX Studio. And within DAX Studio, you, I've clicked Connect, and when I opened it, I connected to Contoso Lite. Then I can do Control V and press Run, and it will pull in the table. Um, but let's just say I don't want the table. So you, could, when you have it in DAX Studio, it it doesn't have the table name, but when you have it in Excel it does. So the way that you can do this is you can just you, you can alter your DAX query. So what I've got in here is I've got the filters. So at the moment the table is filtered by Australia and it's filtered um, the year also then is filtered. But what I can do is I can actually change the DAX query so that it will it will filter by anything. So in, this is one that I prepared earlier and what you can do is you can press Control shift and N and that opens up another tab for you that's already connected to the model it's just so within here this is a, another tab that I created so it's based on this same table but instead what I've done is I've got rid of the DSNO Body Limited, which always um, it always puts it in there. Um, so you can just delete that and get rid of it. And if we do DSO Core, it will run. But what I want to do is I just want to have, I want to specify the order and I want to specify the, um, the column names. So this is exactly the same. The filter table is exactly the same. The DSO core is exactly the same. But I've created another table where I've said this is DS named calls. And it select columns where I've pulled in this table. And I've said call 
product brand brand call this product name and for this call the sales amount with a sterling sign so it, it could be anything and you can change these to be whatever you like and then I've said evaluate DS named coals and then order by so I've told it the order that I want it to run by and now if I press run you'll see that it's ordered by brand, uh, product name is descending, um, and we have the sales amount with the pound sign here. So if I press Control A, Control C, and then go back to Excel, open this, properties, click on definition, go back to this command text here, Control A, Control V, and press OK then it, it does the filtering for me. So what I can do is I can then, um, I can always copy this. So if I create a copy um, before she export details, and I could call this um, 2017, and this one I could call 2018. And then for the person that's amending this, all they need to do is click on properties, might help if I click out of the tab, click on properties and then when they go into the definition, they don't need to know any DAX, they can, it's quite a nice thing to know, not have to know, but I don't mean that really, they can change that, oh I did it, it's 2020, they can change it to 2018 and press OK and that will change to be 2018 and you think actually it would be useful to have the year in here so if you wanted to have the year in here you can change your DAX query so you can either change it here um, summarize columns and you can add um, in here so you could have brand if you want I always find it easier to change it in um, DAX Studio. If you go back to DAX Studio, so if I want to have it here, just makes it easier. Yeah. And then we want to have date. Yeah. And run. Then you can see the year comes up. Control A, Control C, go back to Excel, click Control A, Control V, and press OK. And then you get to have the year come up if you want the year come up. Again, properties, definition, I've got 2020, so I want it to be 2018, press OK, simple, so quick to change. And this one, again, you can, um, this was 2020. So I hope you found that useful. Um, the key thing to take away is that when you pull in the filters, and the, and the tables, you need to select columns and then rename them um, exactly as they should be. And then you can change the order number as well. So you can use Tabular Editor 3 um, to write your DAX query as well. So in here, if I click open and uh, you can see um, my local instance, Contoso Lite, and press OK then I'm connected to Contoso Lite. And then we have here a DAX query as well. So if I press Control V and then um, I press F5, it gives me the same ability to enter and edit and amend as in DAX Studio. So, so both are brilliant options um, and it's up to you which ones you prefer to, to use and to choose. Um, so. DAX Studio and Tabular Editor for your DAX queries.